Hey, Fanny. I'm here to talk to you about cowl. So cowl is, well, one of my favourite dishes ever, but also it's one of the national dishes of Wales, where I'm from. So it's pretty important around here. It's like a real hearty, heartwarming soup or a stew. Chunky root vegetables um, and meat. It's nothing fancy. It's simple ingredients, relatively cheap cuts of meat because it's traditionally for the poor people and um, it's a real mishmash of seasonal. What and just, oh, It's just great food. You can't go wrong. The taste-wise, it's... It's it kind of epitomizes Wales. We've got leeks. Leeks are really important there. Onions, potatoes, carrots, and like I said, the lamb. It is a pretty important part of it. On a cold day, there's nothing better than coming home to some cowl or cooking it low and slow. All the flavors fuse together, and it's nothing quite like a cowl. There's kind of no rules when it comes to cowl. I mean, there are there's the basic structure of the root vegetables and the lamb, or but you know. Maybe if you don't tell anyone, you can put beef in there and you can kind of empty your shelves really, just chuck everything in. That's the beauty of the cowl. You know, end of the week, if you haven't got many ingredients left, you just just chuck it all in and see what happens. When I was a kid growing up, my mum would make it on the Sunday, uh, big batches of it, and it would last us well, for a few days then. And it almost tastes better when you cook it a few days before and you reheat it. That's it's nothing like it. I love it. Oh, I'm getting hungry thinking about it now. To be honest. Um, you know, variations like I was saying, pearl barley. That's the one my mum used to make when I was a kid. And that really adds like a different sort of texture. Something you don't see in the restaurants or shops, wherever you go. So nothing's quite like a cow from Wales. Wales has developed dishes that's completely different from their neighbors, mostly due to its geography and the limited resources. A lot of the dishes share elements like leek, cabbages. This particular dish is known as a dish for working men. They would put it in the morning, go farm all day, and enjoy it at night. Sometimes they'd even cook it for up to a week and just keep adding in fresh veggies every day. However, authentic Welsh recipes are rarely documented because the rich folks preferred English recipes. So this is something that mothers would pass down to daughters. <笑>吃饭就是弄个小火炉一个小泥炉炭火放在上面一锅火锅啊你可以叫它火锅就一个炉子下面有炭火一个锅坐在上面清汤白菜加辣椒吃起来都是带劲的很啊那就比什么山